According to legend, the Jaradin are the dragon's most formidable rivals. They were ruthless and powerful, killing countless dragons in ancient times. When the dragons left and the land went dormant, so too did the Jaratin slumber. But now, the land itself reawakens with glorious life. May we never tire of its beauty. We Draconids have stayed vigilant as we safeguarded the Oath Stones, symbols of the Dragonflight's power. The return of the Jaradim will test us to the limit. May we prove worthy of the challenge. Commander Levenak, Cadet Sendrax and Ally reporting on the Major Domo's orders. At ease. Ah, every NPC now has a couple of these um, dialogues. What can you tell me about the Jaradin? Overwhelming force applied? Uh, hmm, directly. Force on force and may the strongest survive. There is a simplicity to their battle plan that I appreciate. I can't wait to strike back once we've secured our vulnerable. Um, why did the Jaradin attack the outpost? The Jaradin have always sought opponents who could match them blow for blow. Few are strong enough to prove a challenge, though they rage more and more across the isles. It is said that they used to attack these outposts regularly. They would either chest the metal of the elite dragonic cards, or their victory would draw out the dragons for an even tougher fight. Um, okay. Dismissed. I will take whatever. <laughs> That's a very nice wording. Report back. Invader Jaradi. We may not have the power to take back our outpost, but we do not have to surrender without a fight. Show them we still have teeth. Wait. That's a low item level. My goodness. Protect your allies. Deliver whelps from evil. They descended upon us before we could even respond. My guards held as long as they could as we evacu evacuated the young and helpless, but I fear that there are more within the outpost. Cross that bridge and search for survivors. Dismiss. I am trusting you with mm. the lives of my brethren.
We serve once more. The Shrine Guard protect. Wonderful. <laughs> protect your allies. We cannot rest yet, but I breathe easier knowing we have rescued them. Thank you. For the Life Binder. Time for reckoning. Cadet Sandrax has informed me of our Majordomo's plans. Thank the Life Binder that we have their help. Their interference gives us the reprieve we need to get our wounded back to the life pools to be treated. I wish I could reinforce Salistra, but I must keep my guards near the wounded. Go to the enemy's stronghold to meet them. If there were another way of handling the Jaradin, I would ask it, but as it were, you must do what you must. <laughs> okay. Report back. The wagon is ready to go. Wait. The wounded. I you for another Wait, vital the waking task, duck. Cadet. I will see it done, even if it costs me my life! Easy, young one. We will need our most veteran warriors to combat the rise of our ancient enemies. Head to the Lifebinder Conservatory and rally the Draconid to the life pools. Right away, Commander Lethanak. The wounded are stabilized, but something still troubles me, Tyrael. A pair of dragonspawn ecologists had come to the outpost to study the wetlands. I haven't seen scale nor claw of them since the attack, and it's become worrisome. If you're venturing out, would you mind keeping an eye out and making sure they are safe? And do take care. Rumor has it those wetlands are Gorlock infested. For dragon kind. Um, let's check for the ecologists first. <laughs> I guess not. These creatures died traumatically, Thadu. We must treat their remains respectfully. What's more respectful than finding out what's killing them as quickly as we can, question mark? Aspects grace shine down on you. We are watching an ecological collapse, and while I agree we must do something, we shouldn't allow ourselves tracked rashly. Why are there so many diseased animals here? These poor creatures are victims of the elementals that are encroaching on these wetlands. We've been studying their corpses. Iksha looks back at Taru and then continues. In the hopes we will be able to keep their fellows from meeting the same end. Don't worry. Death for one is food for another. Even death can nurture life. What can you tell me about these wetlands? Iksha glances over to Tharu as if seeking consensus. There are dozens of different variety varieties of wetlands. A swamp is a wooded wetland, a marsh is a wetland grown over with shrubs and grasses. Both bogs and fens acquire their water from rainfall, but a bog is exidic while a fen is alkaline. Ah, so much terminology to learn. Honor all Thank you dragons. for the facts. Erstwhile ecologists. Until we meet again. An attack on Dragonheart Outpost! Well, that does sound um, suspicious, but as you can see, we are dealing with our own crisis here. May the flights protect us. A scalpel of a solution. I believe we are gathering enough data safely from here, but. Tharu is an exceptional ecologist and prefers we take action. Still, the ecosystem is fragile and we may damage it if we are not careful. I do however agree we don't have much time. It might be worth indulging him a little. Culling the rampaging elementals ought to buy us time without impending our research. Impeding. Be sure to cull them in equal numbers, we don't want to throw things further out of balance. Perfectly balanced. I found out something today when I read The Lord of the Rings. Perfectly balanced. That's a quote from Lord of the Rings. 
Okay, so kill five rampaging water and five rampaging wind. For dragon kind. And we have uh, enough sitting around. We should be out there doing something now. Yes, that's correct. We should definitely be doing something. Ecological disaster will bring an end upon the humankind if we do not act now. But then again, there are people, humans, who are like, Money, money, money makes me funny. And that's it. That's a problem. You know, it's, it's acceptable for money, money, money. But we also need uh, <clears throat> environment, environment, environment. Hmm. Um, aren't you concerned about the attack on Dragonheart Outpost? Dragonheart Outpost! <laughs> oh, they can build a new outpost. They can build a new ministry. They can build a new Mordor. They can build whatever I want. But these wetlands, boy, are one of a kind. You see that? Come on, what's more important? Some silly buildings? Or the preservation of a unique, delicate ecosystem? that dozens of creatures rely upon. I want to ask about something else, sir. Enough sitting around! Stand firm in your duty. Wildlife rescue. It doesn't take an ecologist to see that the wetlands are in real trouble. But Ishkshas got us stuck here examining dead creatures when we ought to be stopping them from dying in the first place. The Red Dragon Flight is about preserving life, not dissecting it. I love Vikshka, and he's good at what he does, but if we wait until he's done puttering, there won't be any wetlands left to save. I'll manage his overthinking. You get out there, get your boots muddy, and rescue some wildlife! May yes, the sir. whites protect you! Oh, that's not a cliff. <laughs> I thought it was a cliff, but no, no. And the story with the perfectly balanced. When Boromir tried to take the ring from Frodo, and Frodo went um, goodbye, there was um, a moment after he put on the one ring where two sides in him fought. The dark side wanted to go with Sauron and give up. And the good side, you know, the side that no, um, we need to fight. We need to do what is right. And then Tolkien wrote, eventually, perfectly balanced, Frodo found a solution called Do Not Give In to the Dark Lord. And he actually phrased it this way, perfectly balanced. So, um, <laughs> it's obviously a quote from the Lord of the Rings, stolen from the writers of Marvel. And I don't mind, it's a perfect quote. I was just surprised when I read that. I was like, wait, 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 wait. This wording, you know, you remember this wording. So they stole it from the Grand Master of the English Language. That is acceptable. I mean, seriously, it's Lord of the Rings. Um, this man, as far as I know, he even he was one of the writers of um, the Oxford Dictionary. So, um, I mean, if he writes something, you can be quite sure that um, it's proper and well done, so why not use it for your own purposes if you make sure that people actually get something out of it. And the whole perfectly balanced situation in the MCU was just wonderful, so definitely not a problem. Lazy basilisk. It's not a normal basilisk, no, it's a lazy basilisk. <laughs> okay. I'm out of range. <laughs>
right, so we need to find a... Okay, so we have the three creatures, now we just need a couple of water elementals. Wait, is that a flying crocodile? Or alligator? I mean, crocodiles and alligators are not the same thing. Um, there are people who know more than I do, and they're like, Oh, how dare you do that? There's a differentiation! It's magnificent and great, and you need to care for it. So, okay. It's too far away. So one more elemental and we're done here. Quack, quack. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Ah, what is happening? Wait, what's that? Points of interest. Rares and treasures coming next update. Ah, okay. Well, go! Update! <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, these people who are doing the add-ons, um, they're doing it for free. Never forget that, people. Do not demand anything. These are people just like you and me who have fun playing the game. And they're like, come on, let's do something nice, something useful. And then they're like, oh, let's give it to everyone for free. So, um, tone down your expectations. Do not demand updates from people doing it for free. You can demand it of developers, where you pay them, yes. But um, if someone is giving you something for free, um, don't be a dick. Thank you. The waters flow once more. There, the wetlands are fixed. Meanwhile, Ishka is still doing his taxidermy, uh, my, uh, I mean research. Wait, what do you mean the elementals keep coming? Waters oh nourish you. Did that seem to affect anything? No! <sighs> well, at least we're nearly finished with our research. Aspects watch over you. I'm at my wit's end, Tyrael. Taru and I have made our way through nearly all the corpses only to stumble at the end because we cannot agree on a myth methodology. If only he would just listen to me. Oh, he's a strong sire, I see. Um, I need to train myself to strongly sigh. <sighs> the, st <laughs> the stress of the situation is getting to us both. I don't even have a firm hypothesis yet. You look like you have strong stomach. Will you take over on these last two Gorlocks? You can borrow my scalpel. Wait, what? Okay. Dissect, dissect the Gorlock corpses. May the water okay. protect you. Smash! 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 Aberforth. That's a beautiful name for a wizard. I congratulate you, Aberforth. Come on, seriously, don't be a cunt. Goodbye. What a cunt. I don't want to fight him. I mean, this is why the Horde hates the Alliance. I mean, you're just questing... Oh my goodness. Where are we? But I set my heart stone. Are you kidding me? I definitely set my heart stone. That's ridiculous. And what a cunt. I was just standing there. And he was like... War, death, blood, war, let's fight! I mean, why... And, and, and the Alliance is wondering, why does the Horde hate us? Why? Well, maybe ask yourself, why are you needlessly attacking people if they are, show no inclination towards being interested in attacking you? I mean, he tried to stab me in the back. I was doing a quest. I was quasi AFK. 
And he was like, oh, we need to stab in the back and kill him. What a cunt. It's just, what a cunt. But that's typical Alliance behavior for you, so that's not, it's not at all surprising to me. Um, and what am I supposed to say here except what a cunt? I mean, we could have fought even though I didn't see the level. I mean, we're a paladin tank. I could just heal myself over and over and over again and hit him until he runs out of mana, but... Yeah. I'm not going to waste my time on an alliance, dude. I mean, obviously you saw they are traitors, they are treacherous, they are weaklings, and they can only stab you in the back because they don't have the balls to openly fight you on equal terms, so... Hmm. I don't care. Adventurers, we shall depart for the Dragon Isles shortly. You know what? Even though usually I don't do that, the whole um, let's can list it. Can only turn off rest area. Ah, okay. Yeah, we just. I'm going to turn off war mode. I mean, where? I mean, if I were outside, I somewhere in the open the field, creatures. seeing Your him, I would jump around like, oh, no. shall we fight? If anyone understands That's okay, but stabbing somewhere in the back I. while he's doing a quest? Come on, you can't. I mean, come on. What, what kind of behavior is that? And then trying to instantly get all the cooldowns to massively attack him, trying to obliterate him in one second. I mean, who does that? And then they all act surprised. Oh, the Horde, they don't like us. Oh, why is that? Well, ask yourself, why is that? No, I haven't. I have seen in in between the episodes in um, the Dragon Isles expedition right now. I've seen several alliance members attacking horde members out of nowhere, but I've seen zero horde members attacking alliance members out of nowhere. Hmm, what a coincidence! the players are they all up there i mean i guess when these are these are first timers so they probably are there <laughs> wait why do we have it <laughs> okay i'm not going to do i'm not going to remove that i like it <laughs> okay i've no idea why but okay Welcome to the Dragon Isles, adventurers! <laughs> Alright, so let's set our innkeeper. The eternal yes, sun yes, guides us. Make this our inn, so that the happens. Dark times um, will pass. Goodbye, Walmart of. And let's go.
also, what about... I mean, we didn't exactly finish the quest. So, do I have to return there, or did we finish that? Hmm. Speak with Bula. Let's get back there and see if um, anything's left to do. Only the best for dragon allies. Return on the whole topic, um, Alliance versus Horde. I've played Alliance for a while. You might have noticed we played Alliance for a while when I was a Draenei um, Paladin. And what I can say, especially in PvP or in communication, there are a lot in random groups and dungeon groups. Um, at least in my experience, there are a lot, a lot more kiddies who are like blah, 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 in the Alliance than the Horde. The Horde, as a faction, um, if you look at the players, feels more mature, more settled, less... And that, personally, I, I like. The waters flow. All right. Um, it's the Gorlocks fighting that's been harming the wetlands, so... Ecologist Ishka looks ashamed. I think I understand now. Go with the aspect. While I'm glad Tharu now sees my point of view, well, from my point of view, the Jedi are evil. Oh my goodness, what a cringe dialogue. Who wrote that? <laughs> from my point of view, the Jedi are evil. What? Why, why would you... Oh, come on. I mean, Star Wars always had cringy dialogues, but that one triumphed above all of them. Um... Hmm, well, from my point of view, I'm also grateful yet um, to rescue wildlife where I was dawdling. The situation is much more dire than anticipated. He was right to take action. With what we've learned, I fear this elemental bombardment won't stop until we've dealt with the Gorlocks. If I were Tharu and I'm uh, thinking actionably, I would go straight for their leaders. Without anyone to rally around, the fighting should dissipate and no longer threaten the wetlands. Alrighty. Slay Zogmogul, King of the Zogimor, and Vilglugl, King of the Windy Finn. <laughs> I hope I didn't butcher those names. I probably did, but anyway. Aspects watch over you. Don't be so serious. I I'm sure for Aspects what? watch over you. I was a fool to doubt the Iksha when he insisted there was more to this. He wouldn't be my mate if he wasn't always two steps ahead of me. We can make it up to him. By taking action, of course. If it's shells that are causing all this elemental chaos, why don't you go into their camp and take those shells right out of their slimy hands? Huh? Bring back piles of the wind and water shells. Enough for Iksha to research to his heart's content. Alrighty. Until we meet again. <laughs> Um, okay, so we need to find shells, and we need to slay Sogomogl and Vungl. Alright.
the duckling flails around frantically inside the bubble, quacking in fright. Maybe the ecologists would know how to help it. Okay. We need to find wind. Where do I find this wind? Um, okay. So we can find a lot of water-infused shells, but how do we get these wind shells? Oh, what's that? Primal Skithid Queen. Okay, that's kind of nice. Let's try to get her. If one else does. Okay, yep, no, uh, later. 